next thing I do guys is I always write down when the last time the oil was changed and when the next time the oil has to be changed. It is on a 7,500 mile interval, not 3,000. So if you write it on the bottom, there's no way that a mechanic can say like in January or February of next year, oh, you need an oil change. No, no, you're a liar. I just got it done. So if they see it, they know not to screw with you. Look at that Mustang. I don't know if these are what, 2020? Let's take a look at this. But if anyone can figure that stuff out from the vent, then you can figure it out. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a right hand drive Mustang? Get out of here. Whoa, I've never seen that before. Here we are with a 2008 Lincoln MKZ. And it's time for an oil change. The Lincoln MKZ 3.5 liters oil change interval is 7,500 miles. So at this time it is a little bit over 169,000. So all we need is five and a half quarts of SAE 5W20. What I'm gonna use is I'm going to use the synthetic blend. I have it within this uh, container there. So that's five quarts and this is the half right there. The oil is in there, it's not um, Merc on or anything like that. So once I'm done with the oil, I'll be draining it into these containers right there and bringing it to my local advanced auto parts in order for proper recycling. So in order to do this without any issues, I'm gonna jack up the car at its at, at it specified jack points right there. Use my jack stands to keep the car stable on both sides. Once I do that, I'll drain the oil and then I'll use Motorcraft filter silicone valve FL400S and hand tighten it. This is a brand new filter guys. This is the part. Okay once again it's five and a half quarts only. I already removed the engine cover as you saw it there on the floor. Now that I have the car secured on at least two jack stands and the actual jack we're good to go to at least start off so before I start removing the oil plug bolt at the bottom just go ahead and take this off and vent it so it can flow just leave it like that so no debris can go inside <laughs> below is a 13 millimeter Let's see if we can go down here 13 millimeter bolt so because it's so tight and snug down here, I use a long breaker bar to make it easy to remove. So all you gotta do is just get some extensions if you need it and go ahead and break it. Uh, see that? Just break it. And then once you've breaking it, you can essentially go ahead and get one of the smaller ratchets right here. You can start with that. Now that it's broken. Once again, lefty loosey, righty tighty. There you go. It's about to shoot out. So now that I've at least broken it, just remove this and do it by hand because it's about to spray that way. So if you're wanting to know where the oil drain plug is in relation to the filter, it's right there. I don't know who put this on last. As you can see, it's dripping a little bit of oil. It's not a Motocraft one, so I'm gonna change it to OEM specs today. All right, let's go ahead and remove this old drain plug. I guess I didn't get it enough. It's coming, there it goes. Oh yeah, there we go, perfect execution. All right, as you can see, this is a magnetic replacement so it's supposed to be able to collect any metal shavings and sludge at the bottom of this magnet so let's inspect it so let's go ahead and get a shop rag and see let's go into my pile all right guys 
the clean section. So let's look. And I don't see any metal shavings, so it seems like it's the engine is pretty clean. So we're just going to go ahead and let that drain for a while. And then from there, you can see how dirty that oil is. Look at that. Look at that. Look how black that oil is. The thing is sludgy. Man. We're going to let it drain for a while. See, this is the benefit of doing your own oil changes at home. Because when you're able to do your own oil changes at home, you get to spend time and take your time to allow it to drain completely before you put another five and a half quarts back into the actual um, engine. Okay? So take your time, let it drain as long as it needs, drip by drip by drip. Then once it's out, then you can go ahead and put new oil in. After about 20 minutes of drippage, we see that the drip is just stopped. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna temporarily place the drain plug right back where it should be, but not tighten it all the way. The reason why I'm going to do this is just so it can stop the flow. And then I'm gonna move this pan over to the oil filter. This filter was not on very tight, so that's why I definitely know that that's why it's, there was some leakage below it. So I'm just going to remove it. It's gonna probably drip on my fingers, but I have gloves on. Gotta watch out for this. There you go. Let's move it over just a tad bit more. Let it drain by itself until it completely drains. And then from there, you'll come back to it and remove it completely. There you go. You gotta be patient with this, guys. And just let it fall into your hands. So once again, once I'm done with this oil, I'm gonna go recycle it at the Advanced Auto Part down the street. Look at that dirty oil. So just let that drain. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean that as well. Just wipe that surface area. Make sure that this top black portion is on the filter, not up there, because you definitely don't wanna double up the gaskets. So the gasket remains on the filter and that's good. Okay. So once I'm done doing this, I'm going to remove this, put it in the bag for disposal, make sure it doesn't drip. I'm going to push the pan right back to where it was, since there's no drippage there, just to get the remaining oil that was stopped up. There should be some that's going to come back out. Yep. Just like that. And once, once that's finished draining, then you can go ahead and plug this back up. We're going to torque it to 20 foot-pounds. Get a little brake clean. And clean the oil filter mating surface. Get all this gunk, this grunge out of it. Make sure it's really nice and clean so it could seat perfectly fine with the new filter. The next thing I do guys is I always write down when the last time the oil was changed and when the next time the oil has to be changed. Once again this is a 2008 Lincoln MKZ and it is on a 7,500 mile interval not 3,000. So if you write it on the bottom, there's no way that a mechanic can say like in January or February of next year, oh, you need an oil change. No, no, you're a liar. I just got it done. So if they see it, they know not to screw with you. Okay? So 177,276 miles is what's coming up next. So the next thing I'm going to do... Let's place a little bit of oil inside of this filter and fill it up halfway. Make sure there's nothing in there. Just like that. This way it's not dry. And then I'm going to get the remaining portion of this and place it on the top. Let's go ahead and place it up in there. Just like that. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, we're going right, so we're tightening it up. 
Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a rag just so I can get more grip because my hands are oily. Just to give me more grip so I could tighten it till it's full extreme tightening and then just a little bit more. Okay. And just one more turn. All right, that's it. It doesn't need to be any tighter than that, okay? Wipe it down, make sure there's no excess oil. It's good. 100% motorcraft. Let's go ahead and clean off this excess oil. Okay. Clean off the surface, keep it clean. Just get it in there. Finger tighten it first. All the way down so you can't go anymore. Then you gotta get your torque wrench. And get it to 20 foot pounds per the manufacturer's specifications. 20 foot pounds. Now we can move this pan out of the way. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. So we're gonna go to the right. There you go. Does not need to be any tighter than that. Just give it a couple more clicks just to ensure it's there. There we go. So next up, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to get a funnel and I'm going to place five quarts into the engine. And after I place five quarts, I'm going to close this back up, start the car for at least two minutes. And I'm going to let it run through its uh, normal cycle of, of timing. And from there, I'll stop the car and then place the remaining half quart in there. All right, here goes my mega trusty funnel. Remove this cap. Place it in there. Position it like so. Five quarts right here. I'll bring this up. And pour it in slowly. Don't have to go too fast, guys. Nice 5W20 synthetic blend oil. Mousen synthetic oil. First got it off of Amazon. Mouse synthetic. This is a pretty good car, guys. It's been pretty solid since, what, 2008? It was acquired in 2011, and it's still running like a champ. Two spark plug changes since, since it was made, and that's it. Oil changes, of course, every 7,500 miles. Pretty good Lincoln. Okay. So what I do is I just continue to use these oils, oil bottles, for future uses. I do all oil changes at home. No reason to go to the dealership. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll remove this funnel. Place it aside. Place the cap back on. Start the car. So while it's running, we want to take a look down here to see if it's dripping at all. I don't see any drippage. I don't see any drippage. I don't see any drippage. So everything looks fine so far. No oil leaks. Pretty good. These cars are notorious for camshaft phaser issues. So the car runs fine in actuality, but it has camshaft phaser problems inside that would require the entire engine to come off. So I'm not fixing that. All right, it's been on for more than two minutes. So now it's time to shut the car off. The oil cap once more. Place the funnel back in there. Let's get the remaining half quart. Once again, it's not Mercon, this is actually oil. Just reusing the bottles, recycling. Aye. No worries, I placed a little bit more in there just in case that happened. More than half a quart. So that's it.
All right, guys, once that's drained in there, you have your full five and a half quarts inside, and the car is ready to go. See you at the next 7,500 miles, guys. Thank you for joining. Here I am, here at an undisclosed port. And look at all the wonderful new vehicles. Mustangs that you probably have never seen. Customized, brand new, right off the lot from somewhere. I don't know if these are getting shipped out or what, but they are beautiful, magnificent. Look at that Mustang. I don't know if these are what, 2020 let's take a look at this doesn't say the year that I can see but if anyone can figure that stuff out from the vending you can figure it oh wow wait 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 is this a right hand drive Mustang get out of here whoa I've never seen that before this probably is going to Japan or something look at that the switches Beautiful. Plastic still on it, guys. Right hand drive. Where is this going? 